What's going on guys, Matt here with TNM Product Reviews coming back at you with another review. Today we're going to be taking a look at some EDC pens. These ones specifically are from Bastion. And this is their EDC bolt action pen. Let me get the camera adjusted to the tabletop. We'll take a look at the three options we have here from them. Alright guys, so we got to switch it over to the tabletop here. So these are the three pens that I have from Bastion Gear. Uh, like I said, this is Bastion Gear's EDC pen. Uh, so we have a stainless steel, a stainless steel and carbon fiber. Yes, it is real carbon fiber. And then we have a titanium. I know they kind of look pretty similar if you looking at the stainless and the titanium. There's a slight color difference. I'll try to get that on camera here. Um, so these these pens are Bashing Gear's take on an EDC pen. So they wanted something that was sleek and executive looking, but also useful in an emergency self-defense situation. Um, so, you know, if, if for some reason it would ever come down that you would need to use a pen over a knife or a gun or uh, a less than lethal option, you can easily just like a tactical pen has a rounded end on the top there's no point but it is a solid construction at the bottom and you can use that for pressure points or uh, just hits honestly the <laughs> the carbon fiber pen yeah it's a little lighter this stainless steel pens hefty uh, you could do some damage just hitting somebody over the head with this thing uh, but when you get the pens they come in this nice little box and when you open it up, a little piece of foam in there, and the pen just, this is kind of how you get it right here. Nice little display box. These are nice gifts as well. A um, little pricey, but if you're really looking to get a gift that's a little higher end, um, they're worth it, honestly. You can get them customized as well. Bastion offers an initial service or an engraving service where they will engrave right in this area initials or short short names i think it's, it's limited to characters but yeah it's it's an option if you're looking to customize these for yourself or for somebody else so taking a look at the specs on the pen here or on the pens uh, like i said stainless steel being the heaviest one it is 2.8 ounces the carbon fiber is next at 2.3 ounces and then the titanium is the lightest one coming in at 1.6 ounces so almost uh, an ounce a little over an ounce lighter than the stainless steel for that titanium so this one here is going to be my my new edc pen um, i did carry the carbon fiber around for a couple days and you can tell it's there it's not um it's not too annoying but you can definitely tell it's it's in your pocket or for me I had it in the sleeve of my shirt for work I could tell it was there so your overall length on all three pens is 5.25 inches and they are 0.47 inches in width so it is like I said it is a little heftier pen your titanium pen uh, it does have it is TI dash 6 AL dash 4v it's grade 5 or tc4 the hardness on it is rockwell c36 so for anybody that knows titanium specs i don't um, but there are the specs for the titanium pen the stainless is just a stainless steel carbon fiber pen is stainless steel in construction and then it has a carbon fiber tube that's uh, attached to it so if i take it apart here and try to keep it in the light you can see the transition there from the stainless to the carbon fiber so it does have that uh, that carbon fiber there and it is real um, somebody actually posted a video on or they have a video up on bashing gears website of them shooting a 12 gauge slug at the stainless and the carbon fiber it blew a chunk off the carbon fiber, but both, pan, both pens held up with 
no problem. So they're definitely a durable pen as well. Uh, cost wise, so you can get the stainless and the carbon fiber in a gift set with six refills. Uh, the, let me see here, I think I have some refills down here. Yep. So you get a pack of refills. Um, so you get six refills. These ones here are the gel refills. They also have uh, just the black ink refills, which I don't have over here with me. Um, but you can get, I think it's in the stainless here. Yep. So that's just their black ink refill. And then the titanium, I actually switched out. Separate those. And this one is a gel refill. So not a huge difference. You, you can't even tell, honestly. But they are fine tip. And these ones are in black. Uh, let's see. Get the heavier tube for the stainless. So I have the black for black ink in both the gel and just the, the regular ballpoint. But as you can see, they are pressurized cartridges. So they're just like the Fisher Space Pens. If they take that kind of adapter, you can pretty much get it to work on anything or get any refills to work in here. Refills are kind of expensive as I've seen. Uh, the black, regular black ball points are $13. The gel is $15.99 on Amazon. I'll have links to all three of these pens and the refills in the description too. But price wise, like I said, you can get these, these two here in a gift set. It is uh, $66 individual price. The stainless steel is Twenty-eight or twenty-nine ninety-nine. Carbon fiber is thirty-nine ninety-nine, and the titanium is fifty-nine ninety-nine. So they go up in price, obviously by the material being used. So uh, let's see. I think that's about it. Uh, honestly, like I said, I carried the carbon fiber around for a couple days and this pen is amazing. Um, writes real smooth, no issues with writing. Uh, I know with my O pen, my copper O pen that I had, some of their cartridges just didn't seem to work very well. This thing took the little wax cap off of it, scribbled a little bit and it was writing. It's really smooth. And all three of these pens obviously are bolt action pens. So we'll try to get that on camera for you here. So it's just this little mechanism, just like the O pen, just down and over. And it's spring loaded pretty good. Um, you're not gonna forget if it's, uh, when you're moving it, it's gonna lock into place. If you, if you miss, it's, it's gonna reset. <laughs> Um, and these two are kind of broken in. This one's almost there. The springs will break in over time as you use them. But I, I really have no complaints. Like I said, this titanium one is going to be my new EDC. It's going to go along with uh, my Olight and my Saga Geus that I'm carrying right now. So right there is going to be my EDC for a while. I got that new silicone cap on the Warrior Mini, but that's going to be the setup for a little while at least until I possibly change that out when it dulls out here before it gets sharpened again. But that's really all I have for the Bastion Gear pens, guys. Um, great gift, great personal item. Like I said, built for emergency self-defense as they say uh, these pens are, I mean they're comfortable you hold on to it thumb over the back you're gonna really be able to drive this and use it as a self-defense tool even this lighter one I mean you're not looking for weight when you're using it as a self-defense tool you know you're using it just for um, poking or hitting pressure points you know, you stab this into somebody's clavicle, they're they're gonna hurt. I mean, it's it's as simple as that, guys. 
But that's all I got for the Bastion Gear EDC pens. Uh, so like I said, titanium stainless and stainless with carbon fiber. Guys, if you have any questions about the pens, drop them in the comments below. Uh, don't forget to like the video, hit that subscribe button. Definitely make sure you hit the notification button so you know when we're putting out any new videos. That's all I got for you today, guys. Later.